So for the longest time, I wanted to make a new website. You know, my old one is outdated, kind of boring, and that's something you can easily postpone for, well, years. I have so many ideas for a cool new website, but making websites is really hard. And for the last, like, four years or something, I see an ad for Wix or Squarespace, like, every other day, telling me I can make an amazing website with just a couple clicks. Well, all right, let's make a new website. Like, this should only take a day, right? So what are the options? Websites I made in the past, I used to make with a software called Adobe Muse, which kind of works like Photoshop, but you make websites, which I thought was really cool at the time. It was really easy to visualize my website and put everything in the right place. But when you realize you're not making a static Photoshop image, but a functional website, I would quickly run into limitations. And the websites I made with it always felt really stiff. There were some benefits, but in the end, it just felt like the wrong way to make a website. And, and I guess they figured because they discontinued it in 2018. And f*** it, I don't like using Adobe anymore at all. Seeing what the hell they've been doing lately, I've been seriously trying to escape a dope jail now it's been a fight but i'm not giving up so that was a big reason i was postponing making a new website because without muse i had no idea how coding it myself felt daunting and impossible at first i'll get back to that so then those wix and squarespace ads showed up telling me i can make any website i want in minutes maybe i can even make my dream website now so i can name this video making my dream website like a true game developer that's the only thing we do out there making our dreams don't get me wrong it's admirable but i am a human being with limits so my dream website it directly connects to your brain and teleport you into the digital realm it's not gonna happen so making a reasonably realistic website with my available time and resources what do you mean that's not cool enough what the fuck I was deciding between using Squarespace and Wix because those other two companies I've seen millions of ads of, which automatically means they have to be good and not that they spend all their resources on marketing instead of the actual product, right? So many YouTubers promote it, it has to mean they are good products. That's how it always works. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up comparisons and they both have pros and cons. Tell us all that Wix allows custom CSS and Squarespace does not. Reviews also said Squarespace was generally more creatively restrictive and that's a deal breaker for me because my dream website within the realm of this reality is a bit more than just whatever basic template. In fact, my first idea was to make a Persona UI inspired website. Wouldn't that be fucking amazing? Honestly. I already made a new stylized 3D character which I can use, which also took a really long time to create, but not I'm not making a video on that, you know. And then I jump right into it. You can make your website completely for free. It will just have this little watermark which you can always get rid of later with the premium version. It's a nice way for me to figure out if I actually want to use this for my website before I put money into it. Also, that reminds me this video is not sponsored. In fact, they will never sponsor me ever after this video because... <laughs> So there I went, I started fucking around with the Wix editor and the first thing I realized was it was taking a lot of time. I was definitely not making a website with a couple clicks. I constantly got confused by which window has which option where and on top of that the editor is really slow. But so many people use Wix, so many big sites even rely on this platform. I really, really expected it to be good. So much so that I thought maybe it was my fault that I was having so much trouble. Maybe it's my PC or maybe I'm just really stupid. But I was really hating my time with Wix. I really wanted to like it but they went by after trying out different things i honestly only kept hating it more and more and at that point i already spent multiple days i didn't want to throw that away so i just continued i was really struggling trying to make a nice site because i was just missing features like i couldn't even make a nice hover anime so i very quickly realized i was never going to be able to make a persona ui inspired website with wix uh, i seriously gave it a try i researched how to implement 3d objects in wix which is apparently possible using another platform but making the transitions no which honestly i should not have expected to be possible with wix that was just ridiculous of me so i gave up on that plan and I settled on just a simple website with a homepage, a page with my prototypes, tools, and a contact page. You know, most game developers don't have very shiny, amazing animated websites. They're game developers after all, not web developers. They should be spending time on making games, not websites. So let's just keep it simple. At least that won't be a problem. Another several days went by trying different things, making all the pages work, make it all work on desktop, make it all work on mobile, of course. But changing something in one place way too often seemed to break something in another. It was such a pain. Not even talking about trying to make it a little responsive when you change the browser width and height. Everything would just completely break, no matter what I did. What the f and the worst part of all was that undo was barely functional. Often it didn't work at all. And if it somehow did, it undoed hours of work out of nowhere. And then redoing it was impossible for some reason. If there is no undo I can trust, I get scared to try anything. Yes, yeah, sometimes it did work and it felt like a miracle. But way too often it did not. Especially with a software where it's really easy to accidentally break things. Having no reliable undo makes this platform a hell to work with. I spent hours on stuff that really shouldn't have taken so long just because I had to manually redo stuff so many times. I'm sorry, I really wish I could be more positive because so many people use Wix, but this really might be the worst software I've ever worked with. And that includes Zebra. I do not know how other people put up with this. How do so many people use it? What am I 
I'm missing? There are a lot of features that might be nice, but it doesn't matter if I'm afraid to try any of them. At some point, I was Googling what the fuck I was doing wrong, and I learned there's also something called Wix Studio. So I was using the old Wix editor, and they are working on a new one called Wix Studio, which is interesting, so maybe that one is way better. Maybe that's the problem. I was just using the wrong Wix. Another several days went by using Wix Studio instead, which had some things I preferred, like the way you can make things responsive now, and there's a lot more options like offer animations. Nice. But this one sucks in different ways. I felt like I was doing something wrong, but Google was not helping me, and I am just losing it right now. It's also even more confusing to use now, because all options are scattered everywhere. I can never find the option I'm looking for. Is this a skill issue? Is this a skill issue? Am I that stupid? Otherwise, they went out of their way to develop a completely new editor that's totally different and still sucks. After a full week of pain, I finally finished something that I thought might be good enough, but I was mostly just happy that I was done. I was seriously considering leaving it at that and buying the premium version when I realized, no, what if I want to update my site in the future? That's gonna happen at some point. I'm already scared to do so because I know if I want to update my site in the future, there's a good chance everything will break again and it will take me hours to fix. That's the opposite of what I want out of a service like Wix. My expectations when developing a site from scratch myself with code is that it's hard to change things and you can easily break stuff. So you use a platform like Wix to make updating your site easy and painless without easily breaking a fundamental part of your site. You would think. If you use Wix and you're positive about it, please tell me what I'm doing wrong because i'm not seeing it but i am really thankful you can make a full website for free with just a watermark that's really generous and nice because that way i didn't also have to waste money on this shit. okay maybe the problem was that i was trying to be too creative maybe if you just stick to the most basic wix template it's not that bad but that's how you get thousands of sites all looking the same which is just a shame you can show so much creative personality through a website which you really don't with a wix template i do want to say something positive if they manage to fix the editor speed undoing and redoing and general stability in wix studio it could be potentially be something nice for people who just want a basic site it does have some nice features hidden in there but in the current state i don't know if you're a wix developer watching this somehow you're probably not i wish you luck i assume it must be hard for people who just want a website and be done with it i guess it still works in the end and yeah i mean what are the alternatives at least you you get a website with wix which is more than no website at all i mean coding it yourself that's crazy that's way harder there's no way that's easier than wix making websites is always hard there's no way <laughs> So one thing that's important about coding anything in 2024 is that ChatGPT exists. We're at 4.0 at this point. So maybe if I just ask ChatGPT where to start, it can help me. Holy shit. So right off the bat, I noticed there are no limits. No weird restrictions or specific settings that only give me a couple options. No, I can do everything I want. I'm seriously in awe. Why did I not do this sooner? What shocks me even the most is that I'm actually having an easier time with this than with Wix. How the fuck is that possible? What is going on? I felt like I felt like Rock Lee dropping his weights. I can actually make my dream site now. Persona UI inspired site. Okay, cool idea. But I am a game developer and I already wasted more than a week on this shit. And I should go back to making games soon and making a Persona UI why inspired site with the knowledge I have right now will take me months, so let's not. After thinking a bit more, I remembered I once had a Windows desktop inspired site I made with Adobe Muse. Of course, it wasn't actually functional, but people always told me they really liked the ID. And it's a nice way for me to put different things on my site and have it quickly organized. And now I'm not using Muse anymore. Maybe I can make a working desktop inspired site. I asked ChatGPT for some advice and started coding. What I really enjoyed was using ChatGPT as a kind of personal assistant. I was really new to HTML and CSS and having ChatGPT there ready to ask anything really made this possible at first i was scared i wasn't going to have full control with chatgpt doing so much heavy lifting but i did especially because i could just ask chatgpt to explain how certain lines of code affect the site in almost no time i was able to do a lot of stuff even without chatgpt's help because i learned so much so quickly back when i made the making a game with ai video it still kind of sucked but nowadays especially if you know how to use it to its strengths and with that i mean as a coding assistant to actually help you learn coding on the fly it's amazing actually we're a couple years into this ai shit now and i'm starting to get a feel for what i like like and don't like about AI. Personally, don't like generating visual stuff because that means I have less control over the look of things, and that's where I feel my identity and personality comes through. But when it comes to specific technical things, just making stuff work behind the scenes, I have to say it's been amazing. Before AI existed, I could see why coding an entire website could seem daunting. But with AI, I really believe everyone could do it, and I don't mean just have ChatGPT make the entire site. That will still not work out well, and there will be issues, especially when your site becomes a bigger project. ChatGPT can quickly create new issues because it because it doesn't have the full picture of everything. In 
in your sight anymore. It also still cannot reach your mind. But using it to give you a start and point you in the right direction when you're stuck, it helps you learn really fast. At some point, I felt like I started to understand how HTML and CSS work, and I even learned some JavaScript. You might think, yeah, if ChatGPT makes the entire site, of course. But you can still design everything yourself, decide every little detail, and make anything you dream of. I personally notice it works best for me when the AI is just there to assist. I still feel like I'm doing most of the work, but the AI just helps me fill in the gaps in my knowledge to actually make it happen. So a couple days went by and I quickly had the basics functional. In the meantime, someone at work recommended Glaude AI, which apparently is even better than ChatGPT 4.0 at the moment, and it really seemed so. It was able to help with most of the complex issues I was stuck with at times, and I was really having fun. I was excited to try new things, and having an AI to back me up is like learning how to ride a bicycle with training wheels and never having to take them off. It's great. Which begs the question, do I know how to ride a bicycle? But since I wasn't limited to Wix bullshit anymore, I can just easily add more stuff, add more pages, and updating my site is something I'm actually excited about now, instead of scared. I also asked ChatGPT what is convenient for saving and publishing the site, and I was able to connect my code to a server with Control S, so I can literally make a change, save, and boom, it's online. And now the site is finished. You can find it at mart.dev. You can find all the prototypes I made, links to social, information about tools I released or I'm working on, and I will update it in the future if I have new stuff to share. I'm certainly surprised. I really thought it was going to be extremely hard, even with ChatGPT's help, so I never even tried. But I should have just done this right away instead of Wix. What the fuck? Also, that reminds me, yes, I changed my name to Mart. Maybe you were already thinking, who the fuck is this guy? What? This channel used to be called Debro. I've gone through many identity crises. Let's not get into that. But Mart is always the name I identified with most. The only problem was that I had a brief, shitty music career with that. That name. Let's not get into that either. So Deborah was something I came up with to differentiate from that. But yeah, now I quit music for years and I'm fully into game development. I just felt like I should just stick with what feels right. And that's just five letters, Mart. If you're for some reason interested, you can find all my old shit on my website if you click the trash icon. Last video, I suddenly announced I was going to disappear for a year, which no one really seemed to care about, which I guess is one of the benefits of being a small YouTuber. But it went exactly like I said. I did an internship. It was amazing. I learned so much. I cannot show much due to an NDA, but I can show this effect, which is pretty cool. But it's not all I've done for half a year, but but, but that's how the game industry works, I guess. It, I, I did learn a lot. In the meantime, I was working on a game called Library of Hex with some friends, which we had way bigger plans for than we were able to realize. And we realized the game was just lacking in too many areas and graduation was coming up so we decided to just take all we learned which is a lot and try something new and now i'm a fucking fourth year student and i'm gonna be working on my graduation project this entire year which is insane but you're gonna hear all about that later follow me everywhere for updates and bye